Hey, what's up guys, Sedge here. Welcome to a Dark Souls 3 guide on how to farm embers. So today I'll obviously show you how to farm embers, where to go and whatnot. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's better ways to do this, but this is the one that worked for me the best. Um, I killed a knight once and it actually dropped an ember and I thought, you know, this place is probably the most ideal place to farm embers from the Lothric Knights. So, to start off with, you might want to get a symbol of Avarice. Uh, this thing actually boosts your item discovery by 200 or 100, I don't remember now. And if you don't actually have the item, then you can level up your luck, which is probably not something you might want to do, depending if you're making a build or not. So, you know, you don't actually need luck or the sign of Avarice. You can actually go without these, but they will boost your luck tremendously. Um, they're optional, but they're recommended, and the sign of Avarice is quite difficult to get as far as I'm aware. So anyway, you're going to want to run up here. This is the Boreal area. You will have to have him killed. Uh, just run past all the enemies. They won't do anything. They're just hollows, really. And then just start killing these knights. There's four knights that you can kill. Uh, there's two with a sword and shield. There's one with a spear and shield. And there's one that's got a sword and shield, but he's significantly stronger than the others. And this is the one I'm about to show you right now. Uh, he, if you, if you feel like you can't kill him because he's too difficult, you don't actually have to, but it's definitely recommended. It will increase the amount of embers you get. Um, I personally farmed for 10 minutes and I got four embers, so you know you can kind of get a mean out of that and uh, you know 20 minutes eight embers maybe nine maybe seven somewhere around there so if you farm for maybe an hour which i know most people might not do you should be getting around you know 15 16 somewhere around there in the two digits so it's a pretty good way to get embers and there's you know if you've brought all of them from the shop you've picked most of them up this is a very good way to get embers it's actually a very good way to get souls as well and i'll show you at the end of this video that you can actually sell all the armors that you get from these and blah 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 and you can get a lot of souls doing this as well as um you know the embers so now that's pretty much the whole route i just showed you all you need to do is run back and um you know just repeat rinse and repeat there are a few ways you can speed this up like i said the sign of avarice is one uh, increasing your luck skill is another one to boost item discovery if you have high luck and the sign of avarice you're you know you're going to get a higher chance of embers dropping from these knights Another thing I would recommend is having at least 500 or more health. Uh, this is because if you're wearing the sign of Avarice, as you can see right now, your health will actually deplete when you're wearing it. It doesn't deplete fast. I'd compare it to poison. Um, maybe slower, maybe a little bit faster. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit slower, but you know, if you get the timing wrong and the knight hits you and you're on low health, you could potentially die. So you do need at least I'd say maybe 500 or 400 health to make this a lot easier and less difficult. Um, another thing you can do is maybe go into ember form, but I know it's a little bit weird. I'm making an ember guide and I'm telling you to go into ember form. If you do have a couple of embers, don't be afraid to use them because I, you know, it's not that hard to kill these knights. If you're a level 15 or 20, then it will be hard, but if you're like a level 30, uh, then it shouldn't be too hard and uh, in most cases you do run out of embers at around level 30 to 40 It gets difficult to find them and you know even in new areas is quite hard So in my opinion, I feel like this is a very good way to get embers and uh, Not only do you get embers you actually do get souls as well as I stated as you can see I actually racked up around 50,000 souls I believe I got 40,000 souls from killing the knights for maybe 20 or 30 minutes and uh, I also got like another 10,000 just for selling their items. Uh, you are also pretty much guaranteed to get one of the, you know, the full armor set, which is actually quite cool. And as you can see, I just got an ember, three items right there, um, and as well as getting all of their weapons. So the spear, the sword, the shield, and uh, they're quite good we weapons, including if you're a low level and, you know, maybe 30 or level 20 or 30. They're pretty good weapons, to be fair. So... I'm going to get another ember right here, uh, that's two embers in a row, as you can see I actually almost died, so you have to be careful with the 
you know, mimic head because it does take off health and there is potential of dying. Uh, but as you can see, I did just get another ember, so that is two in a row. And um, I actually get, I got a ton of weapons from this, like a ton of ton of weapons, as you can see, another shield, and you just get them constantly. And it's very quite, you know, if, if you're a noob, or you're, you need a good armor, the Lothric set is pretty good, to be fair. Um, but yeah, in 10 minutes, this is 10 minutes, uh, I actually did get four embers. And uh, it's actually pretty good, because in most cases, most people won't actually need more than four embers, you know. If you're stuck on a boss and you need somebody to help, the chances are four tries is more than enough, and it only takes ten minutes to get those four tries. Uh, so it's it's very useful, honestly. This is probably one of the best ways to go, uh, get um, embers. A good way is helping people uh, with bosses, invading people, helping people with crucial fights and uh, you do actually get embers for a co-op but you know if you don't have PSN then this could be a problem and I actually didn't have PSN myself while I was recording this so this is actually a very good way if you don't have PSN and whatnot so anyway now I'm actually gonna skip to the part where I'm selling the weapons and you'll be able to see the amount of souls I gained um, as you can see I got a ton of uh, crossbows and uh, armor pieces. I actually forgot to sell the swords, but you know, I didn't really need to sell them anyway. I sold all the shields, every bit of armor. I left myself one of each, and I would recommend for you guys to do that as well if you want to keep the armor set. Because it is actually a pretty cool armor set, it's very good. Um, it is quite heavy though, but I guess if you have enough um, vigor, then it's not really a problem. And um, yeah, so you'll be able to see the amount of money, or not money, sorry, the amount of souls I personally managed to make. It's going to differ, it honestly will differ. I believe I had maybe 6,000 or 10,000 souls when I started, uh, so I pretty much made about 38,000 souls just by farming for something that I needed. So it's a pretty good byproduct, I guess. You also get the full set of... Uh, um, Lothric Knight armor if you do it long enough and I was just gonna put the Lothric armor on just to show off How it looks and the statistics of the full set as well as the weapon and the shield But again, I forgot the shield because I sold it by accident But anyway guys, um, I do hope you found this helpful if you did leave a like, you know, maybe a comment if you want um, If you want subscribe as well, I will be uploading a bunch of content Maybe even more guides and whatnot. Uh, I'm not one of, I'm not one for making guides, but you know, if I find something cool, then I guess I'll make it. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you later. Bye bye.